There is a group of people who love pit bulls very much. They think they are the best dogs in the world and such. They say they are friendly and gentle and sweet. They say they are cuddly and loyal and neat. But there's another group of people who disagree. They think pit bulls are dangerous and scary and mean. They say they are vicious and aggressive and wild. They say they are not suitable for any child. These two groups of people often argue and fight. They try to prove that they are right. They use words and pictures and statistics and facts. They use slogans and banners and posters and acts. The first group of people is called the pit bull lobby. They have a lot of money and power and hobby. They have a lot of friends and supporters and fans. They have a lot of lawyers and lobbyists and plans. The pit bull lobby wants to protect pit bulls from harm. They want to make sure they have a good life on every farm. They want to stop any law that would limit their breed. They want to make sure they can have as many as they need. The pit bull lobby says that pit bulls are misunderstood. They say that they're not bad. They are just good. They say that any problem is caused by the owner, not the dog. They say that any bite is caused by the victim, not the dog. The pit bull lobby says that pit bulls are not different from other dogs. They say they're not more likely to attack or bite or maul or clog. They say that any difference is caused by the media, not the truth. They say that any evidence is caused by the bias, not the proof. The pit bull lobby says that pit bulls are victims of discrimination. They say they are treated unfairly by the nation. They say that any restriction is based on fear, not reason. They say that any regulation is based on hate, not vision. The pit bull lobby has a lot of tricks up their sleeve. They have a lot of ways to make people believe. They use rhyme and rhythm and repetition and alliteration. They use humor and emotion, imagination and exaggeration. But there's another group of people who are not fooled by their lies. They think the pit bull lobby is full of nonsense and flies. They think the pit bull lobby is dangerous, harmful and wrong. They think the pit bull lobby is selfish and greedy and strong. These people want to protect themselves and others from pit bulls harm. They want to make sure they have a safe life in every town. They want to pass laws that would regulate the breed. They want to make sure they can prevent any deed. These people say that pit bulls are different from other dogs. They say they're more likely to attack, bite, maul, or clog. They say that this difference is based on science, not myth. They say that this evidence is based on facts, not pith. These people say that pit bulls are a threat to public safety. They say they cause fear and pain and injury and pity. They say that any restriction is based on logic, not emotion. They say that any regulation is based on justice, not commotion. These people have a lot of courage and wisdom and sense. They have a lot of ways to make people tense. They use reason and evidence and logic and truth. They use justice and fairness and ethics and ruth. But these two groups of people never agree or compromise. They never listen or understand or empathize. They never stop or quit or rest or pause. They never give up or surrender or change their cause. So the story goes on and on without an end. The pit bull lobby keeps on trying to defend. The other people keep on trying to prevent. And no one knows what will happen next or when.